Konnichiwa! Welcome to Chibi Chibi Chef! I'm thrilled to be back with more delicious miso recipes today! My previous miso recipes have been really popular, so I'm excited to share two new chicken recipes that highlight the rich, savory flavor of miso. These recipes are easy to prepare and super delicious, so I hope you like them and let's get started! First dish is miso chicken tenders. Preheat the oven to 375 Fahrenheit before cooking. Since we'll be preparing and marinating the chicken all at once in a baking tray, line the baking tray with parchment paper or non-stick foil. Today I'm using chicken tenders, but you can use the same seasonings with chicken breast or thighs as well. For chicken tenders, it's better to remove the seasoning before cooking, so I'll show you how to remove them easily. Place the sinew of the chicken tender between the tines of a fork. Hold the end of the sinew with your non-dominant hand and hold the fork vertically with the other hand. Gently peel off the sinew by sliding the fork along its length. If you find that your hand is slipping while you're holding the sinew, use the paper towel to maintain a better grip and make the process easier. Tenderize the chicken with the fork. No need for a knife to cook this recipe, just the fork. Now let's make the miso marinade here. No bowls needed. Add 2 tablespoons of miso. I use the mixed miso, awase miso, which is a mix of white and a red miso, but you can use any miso. Add 1 tablespoon of mirin to balance the saltiness of the miso and add the depth to the flavor. Miso is quite savory, but also salty, so add a half teaspoon of sugar to add a little sweetness. Mix everything here and marinate the chicken. I needed to add 1 tablespoon of sesame oil as well, but I forgot and I added it at the end just before putting them in the oven. Also, it might be easier to spread the miso marinade with a table knife and a pair of tongs. So be sure to add 1 tablespoon of sesame oil before mixing all the seasoning. Then sprinkle some shredded cheese on top of the chicken pieces. You can add as much as you want. Also sprinkle some sesame seeds on top to add a nice nutty crunchy texture and make the dish look even more appealing. Now let's put them in the oven. Cook in the oven at 350 Fahrenheit for about 17 to 20 minutes. When the chicken is fully cooked, take them out of the oven. It's good to get some tasty looking juices running out, and the chicken is nicely cooked. Don't throw away the tasty miso juice, it has the chicken umame in it, so let's pour the sauce on top. You can also add some red chili pepper flakes or black pepper on the chicken to make it a little spicy. Here you have some great looking cheesy miso chicken. The cheese is perfectly melted and the chicken is tender and full of flavor. This recipe is sure to be a hit with everyone. It's also great with crunchy cabbage salad. So hope you try it! Next dish is miso chicken sobo rice. Soboro is a Japanese term for finely crumbled seasoned meat. I'm using ground chicken and mixing it with rice to make rice balls later on. You can also put it on the rice or eat with tofu or veggies as well. First, let's get some green onions. To finely chop the green onion, cut in this way first. I used two green onions this time, but if you really like green onions, you can cut more. Now you have these finely chopped green onions in a minute. Today I use this barley miso to make the sauce, but you can use any Japanese miso. Let me explain the difference between the major Japanese miso taste while making the sauce. White miso, shiro miso. Mild, sweet and a light in flavor with a shorter fermentation time. 
red miso, aka miso, rich, salty, and a bold with a strong umami taste from longer fermentation. Mixed miso, awase miso, a mix of white and red, balanced with sweet and deep flavors. Berry miso, nugi miso, earthy, slightly sweet, and a nutty with a deeper, complex flavor. Each miso type and a different brand has their unique taste, so it might be fun to make with different miso every time you make this sauce. Finally, let's cook the meat. Add 1 tablespoon of sesame oil or other cooking oil and add the ground chicken to cook over medium heat. For this recipe, you also can use any ground meat like pork or beef, but I think I like this chicken or pork versions the most. Try to separate the meat as much as you can to make the soboro. When the meat is fully cooked, add the special miso sauce that we made earlier and the green onions. Then mix them well over low heat. Miso burns easily, so take special care to not let that happen. After it's mixed well, it's done. Here's the moist miso chicken soboro. Super tasty looking. The rice is ready too, so mix them and let's make onigiri. Mix this miso chicken with rice to make rice balls, but you can also eat it by itself or top the rice with it. When you mix the soboro with rice, try not to squish the rice, so move the rice spoon vertically. My husband couldn't wait for me to make the rice balls, so I just served it on the little rice ball. He ate it in a minute, and I couldn't stop myself from eating it before making the rice balls as well. So I decided to make the rice balls the next day and first the chicken miso rice. It's better to freeze rice if you don't eat it on the cooking day rather than putting it in the fridge. After taking it out from the freezer, I microwaved for a few minutes. Now let's make the rice balls. It's easy to make the rice balls with a plastic wrap. It's sticky if you use hands directly and also better to use plastic wrap for hygienic purposes. This time, I used 3 cups of cooked rice for half pound of meat. But if you like a stronger miso taste, you can mix with less rice. This time, I'm not explaining all the steps of making rice balls since I explained them in the previous video, so I leave a link to the video in the description box. In this video, I'm showing how to make easy dashi soy sauce and grilled rice balls as well, so please check out this video too. These rice balls go great with seaweed, so try them with seaweed if you have it. Thank you for watching. Arigatou gozaimasu. See you again. Mata ne.